Hey Lemon Squeezies, I missed you guys so much. Um, sorry that I have been MIA for the past week, but um, I have been completely exhausted. Um, it's been really hard for me to um, not feel exhausted. Um, and I talked to my midwife about it and she basically said that this is the time of my pregnancy that I should have the most energy. So she's like, I don't know really what's going on with you, but you should be having more energy by now. I think a big part of it is the fact that I have a hard time going to bed at night. I'm up on average at least until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So um, that's probably got a big part to do with it. And then by time I get tired, it's time for my kids to start arriving. Um, and then, you know, I've still got to make it through the day with them. So um, big shout out to my little sister Luda. She's been a big help to me. She's been coming down. I'm sorry, I just got out the shower. My nose is like really sweaty, so my glasses keep sliding down. Um, but yeah, my little sister Luda, her name is Kristen, but we call her Luda, Luda Chris. She has been an awesome help to me. She comes down every day, um, usually between 11 and 2, and she'll take over for a couple hours and entertain the kids and give me an opportunity to go take a nap or take a shower or whatever it is that I need to do for myself in that day. So, um, that definitely makes it a lot easier for me to, uh, do the type of work that I do, being as tired as I am so um as of right now I am officially six months in two days OMG like my pregnancy is flying by um it just feels crazy like I, I tell people all the time I feel like I just got my BFP and here I am three months away from having my little girl like this is ridiculous it's crazy um it just feels unreal in a lot of ways and I think it's been messing with me psychologically um I've been having a lot of dreams of bad things happening with the baby and me having to start from scratch and going back to the RE and buying vials of sperm again and stuff like that um and I've had that dream probably at least three times since I've been pregnant but um I don't know it's just still hard sometimes for me to uh believe that I've made it this far and I'm just blessed to be here um so yeah the weeks that I missed well I guess the the one week that I missed was week 22 um and during week 22 BLT was the size of a spaghetti squash um and she weighed approximately one pound um and then this past week was week 23 and she's the size of a large mango and believe me I can feel it um, as far as symptoms are concerned, I'm sorry, my nose is a little sweaty and stuff. Like I said, I just got out the shower. Um, as far as symptoms are concerned, um, I am still vomiting, but it is down to like once a week. Um, this morning I thought I was going to throw up. <clears throat> I started feeling that really nauseous feeling. Um, and I just grabbed the apple and, um, it went away. So it's like I'm learning how to better control it. Um, and when you're feeling nauseous, it's really hard to eat sometimes, but I'm learning that if I just have something small, usually I can keep myself from throwing up. Um, but when I do vomit, it doesn't ruin my day. I'm able to, you know, do what I got to do, take a couple deep breaths, brush my teeth, have a bottle of water, and I'm back ready for action. So, um, that's definitely getting better. Um, one of the new things that I've been having to deal with is round ligament pain. Um, which is totally different from stretching, which is all I pretty much felt in the beginning of my pregnancy was just, uh, my uterus stretching. Um, now it's to the point where I can feel her weight when I move, when I stand up, like if I move too quickly, I can feel her kind of drop into position. Um, and a lot of times like I could be sitting watching TV perfectly fine. And if I try to get up, that makes me have to pee. I guess just putting that added pressure on my bladder makes me have to pee. Um, so, um, last week it was a lot worse than it has been this week. Um, but usually by the end of the day, by the time I make it to like 4, 5, 6 o'clock, it's like my belly hurts from hanging on the bottom. Um, so, I have been talking to Papa. I think I'm ready for a belly band. Um, just to give me a little bit of added support. Because I've noticed, like, if I'm walking around the house and my tummy hurts and I kind of, like, cradle my belly and pull it up a little bit, it definitely feels better. Um, and like I said, it'll keep me from going back and forth to the bathroom so often, too. So, um, that's one of the things that's new this week. 
Um, another thing that's new is I have really been craving ice a lot. I actually am craving ice right now. Um, and I'm not going to indulge until after I finish recording this video because I did that a long time ago. I recorded a video with a mouthful of ice and it was so attractive. <laughs> so we're not going to do that again. Um, but um, at first I thought it was just because... Um, I didn't have anything cold to drink in the house. Like, we buy cases of water, um, but I choose not to put my water in the refrigerator because I do have sensitive teeth from time to time. But also, I've noticed when I put a full case of water into the refrigerator, it disappears, like, in a day or two. Like, people are just grabbing bottles. But when it's warm, people kind of second-guess it. They're like, oh, I really wanted a water, but they're warm, so I'm not going to get one. So it's kind of a cool way of me keeping people out of my water stash is just by not refrigerating it. And then I don't mind drinking warm water. Like I said, sometimes my teeth are sensitive, so I don't mind it. But if I am in the mood for a cool drink, I'll just, you know, pour it over a couple of cubes of ice or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've been, I don't know where I was going with that thought, but I've been... Oh, because there was nothing cold to drink in the house. So, like, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I'd be, like, so, so thirsty that I would just get, like, a big cup of ice and just pop ice cubes. Um, but it's starting to slowly get worse where it's not just at night. Um, it's, like, at least three times a day. Or if we're out, I want to stop and get ice from, like, a gas station or something like that. So, it's not like I'm addicted to it or anything like that, but it's definitely one of those things that I enjoy doing. Uh, let's see. My sleeping situation is progressively getting worse. Um, I know it's not suggested to sleep on your back, but that's about the most comfortable position I can find right now. Um, like I've told you guys before, I fractured um, my left arm when I was seven years old, and it's never quite been right since. Um, so this hurts almost all the time anyway. Um, but even if I'm not laying on this side, if I lay on my right side, it still hurts. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just like the gravity of me laying that way. And I don't know. Um, and then on my right shoulder now, it's not like this actual part of my shoulder. It's like on my back, like right underneath my shoulder blade. I don't know if it's a knot there or what, but it really, really hurts there. Um, and then my hips have still been bothering me from time to time. Um, and I don't know like I think maybe that has a large part with why I stay up so late at night is just because I can't get comfortable and usually by the time I do either pop has to get up and go to the bathroom or one of the kids is knocking they have to go to the bathroom or a parent is uh you know calling or knocking and saying that they're here to pick up so um me and sleep just haven't been getting along lately and I crave it so bad so um I'm definitely going to look into a um, body pillow and um, I talked to my cousin um, and she's um, exactly a month behind me my due date is June 27th hers is July 27th and I was talking to her about it and she was saying that you know maybe even just soaking in a hot bath before bedtime could help me relax and with the muscle pains and things like that so um, sleeping isn't going too well for me right now, but that's definitely something that I'm going to have to work on because this kid is going to be here soon and I need my rest. Um, the potty, I've been running back and forth to the restroom like crazy. Like it's insanity. You just scared the shit out of me. Excuse my language. This is my sister Luda. I gave you a shout out in this video too. Say what's up. What's up? Yeah, I told you she'd be here soon. Um, I thought it was one of the kids. She just really scared me and I'm sorry for cursing, but, um, what was I talking about? Oh, running back and forth to the bathroom. Like I said, I could be sitting on the couch or watching a movie or laying in bed. And if I move the wrong direction, now I have to pee. And then you get up and go to the bathroom and like a couple drops comes out and it's so much fun. You have to love it. So, um, that's something that, um, luckily it doesn't bother me in the middle of the night because I've got my drinking schedule down to the point where, do you have on a garter belt? Yeah. What a weirdo. Italian uh, parade. Oh, the Italian parade. Oh. It, on me. it looks like Christmas. No, it's Italian colors. I don't have my glasses on. Pizza. Because I was sweating and my glasses kept sliding down my nose. So, yeah, I'm hot right now. And I had to close the door because I had a glare. You can open the door now since I took my glasses off. All right, sorry about that. Um, I've been up all night. This kid moves a lot. 
she moves a lot. Um, I don't know if it's too early for her to have hiccups, but I kind of have the feeling that that's what happened last night because she was like moving constantly. Like it was like every two seconds I was getting a kick out of her and she really doesn't move that much. Over the last couple of weeks, I have noticed her movements increasing and becoming stronger um, to the point where the other night I was laying on in the bed and I was laying on my back and I had my blanket over me and I'm just like laying there like chilling, flipping through the channels. And she started kicking so hard that the whole blanket was kicking up. And it was really cool. But she only does stuff like that, like, really late at night after Pop's already asleep. So, Pop doesn't really get to see it. And I have tried to catch it on tape a couple of times. But as soon as I move, she stops. Um, so, I'm going to keep trying to catch that. Um, I guess that's really about it. Not really too much else is going on. I feel like I'm at the boring part of my pregnancy where I'm just watching the weeks go by. Oh, it's a butterfly, man, man. Um, I'm just really excited. I'm ready for this baby to come. Oh, fingers crossed for Papa. Um, she put an application for a meter maid uh, position working downtown, ticketing cars and stuff like that. She put an application for that like a year ago. And she really likes working downtown. She worked on Bourbon for over 10 years. She knows a lot of people. A lot of people know her. They know she don't take no SH, so they don't start no IT. Um, but she put in this application like a year ago, and they just called her. And um, right now she's just waiting on a call back for a second interview. They're doing her background check and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really praying that she gets this job because it'll be better money, better hours, more time for her to spend with the baby once the baby gets here. Uh, vacation time. Um, paid sick leave uh, health insurance all the stuff that uh, her current job does not offer so uh, definitely keep us in your prayers as far as that's concerned um, that's really about it I guess I'll do a belly shot real quick and get out of here um, shout out to my girls Mel and Nessa I know you guys are in your two week wait I think you're like halfway through now so you guys are through the hard part uh, it's going to be a little hard to make it to testing but I say at this point if you decide to cheat your secret's safe with me I won't tell nobody um, Sonya and Bam are getting ready to end Sim soon. Um, my sisters, which I'm not going to mention because they haven't really told anybody that they end Sim. They're actually in their two week wait. Y'all know who y'all are. Mwah, I love y'all. Um, and I hate doing shout outs because I feel like I always forget somebody. But if I forgot you, it's nothing personal. I love you to pieces. Um, so I'm going to show you my belly and then we'll, we'll get out of here. Here's Miss BLT with my shirt on. And I feel like black always makes my belly look smaller. But this is about all I had clean. So it was between this or the Four Loco shirt. And I just didn't think that was very appropriate for maternity. And here she is without. And it's hard as a rock. And you can fill her in there. But that's pretty much all I got for you this week. So it was good seeing you guys. Take it easy, lemon squeezy, and I'll see you next week. Bye.